Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. This is going to be a rather casual video, a very conversation based. I'll give you the topic so it doesn't keep you in suspense. It's uh, <laughs> what I discovered playing video games uh, again at 42, at uh, 42 or 43 onwards. Now, uh, you know, when we were young, we play video games, okay? Uh, anyone who was born in my generation who had access to a computer would play video games. You could play arcade games or like in my days, it was Age of Empires. It was Unreal Tournament. It was Quake. It was uh, Doom 3D. Uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. I remember the first online game was Mafia Wars <laughs> uh, by Z by NG, Zynga, yeah. Then uh, it moved into stupid games, like silly games, like they didn't require a lot of thinking, like b jeweled Blitz and uh, Candy Crush uh, and uh, Sims, uh, like uh, Megapolis. You know, it didn't require a lot of brains, but uh, it was just simple. It didn't require much skill. But games like Quake and, uh, uh, you know, I think right now the current game is like Pug, Pug, P-U-B-G, P-B-G-U, P what? PUBG. Yeah, I, sorry, I may, one of the, one of the shooting. It's like Counter Strike. Okay, my my days it used to be Counter Strike. I don't know if Counter Strike is still there, but PUBG that shooting game is there. Very addictive. Takes a lot of skill. Okay, I have a lot of respect for small youngsters. I mean, oh, they can kick your ass. So, I also started. You know, uh, I used to play these games like. Plants vs. Zombies or Beejeweled or Candy Crush just to kill time. Uh, then you have these racing games like Asphalt 9 and what? Uh, uh, yeah, Dominations, the game which I play. Uh, they, these are very simple games. They don't require a lot of brains. It's just simple strategy, very easy. But then, because I started getting into microtransactions, spending a dollar just for an upgrade, and uh, you know what I did. Uh, Two years ago, I spent uh, five and a half thousand dollars in uh, one hour just upgrading myself because it was a matter of ego and I was competitive and you know my insecurities got the best of me. I ended up spending at least twenty thousand dollars in the next two years on on these online games just to keep my ego up and my competitive spirit. But then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? So. I realized that was my addiction. Like for some people, it's gambling. For me, it was spending on uh, games, online games, and you know, uh, twenty thousand dollars on. It was. It it is too much. I'll tell you that. So, I asked myself, what can I do? What is the solution that I can get? So I realized instead of trying to fight playing games, because there's no other entertainment. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't go out. I'm in a forest. I'm a family man, I need to keep my sanity, right? So I was like, okay, I'll buy a computer. You know my journey, I'll, I'll buy a gaming computer. So I bought a PSP, I bought a Nintendo Switch. Because the difference was, if you buy this machine, uh, for $50 you get the whole game. Compared to microtransactions where on one game you can spend $20,000 and they'll still give you something more to buy, something more to spend. So I was like, okay, I'll uh, buy a game for $50 or $100 or 150 whatever. So I started to get back to my old games of yesteryears from uh, Doom 3D, Nukem, uh, what? Wolfenstein, uh, Lately, Quake, I got them for, there was a 75% off on GOG.com, GOG.com. So I purchased around 20 games. They were at 80% off. 
and now I'm on steam and GOG. I'm still learning the ropes. But what I realized is, you know, yesterday I was playing Wolfenstein at, I think, four in the morning after finishing editing a video. I still have to edit that. It's a UAE-based project. So, when I was uh, trying to play Wolfenstein, it's a beginning part of the game, okay? Just the beginning. Uh, there is one scene, it's just the starting part of the game, so they make it very easy. There was this part of the game where I had to um, shoot and run and slide, okay? It's like there is this big metal dog that's coming towards me. Yes? 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 That's my baby. So there's there's a scene where there's a metal dog like coming towards me in the aircraft. I think it's Wolfenstein blood or something. I don't know. Wolfenstein some. Okay. I'm in this aircraft and uh, this metal dog is coming towards me. And I have to run. I can't kill the dog. So I have to run, slide, slide underneath that dog where there's a gap and then go to the other side. Now, the command <laughs> for the keys was... Uh, w is run forward, uh, shift and left shift key and left control, okay? So I have to press W and left shift key and left uh, control at the same time, okay? So first I have to run front, which is W, and then press left shift and left control together when I reach that part. Now I'll tell you, the funny thing was... I tried that simple thing, I think around eight times and I just couldn't get it. I kept dying. And mind you, I've taken an easy level. I've taken a, like, not that baby level, not the easiest, the middle, middle one. Where even if your uh, health gets low, it gets back up to 20% at least. Okay, even if you get shot, shot to the point of just 5%, it comes back to 20%. So, I tried and I died, I tried again. I was not able to keep my fingers, you know. It's like, I was struggling with the coordination of my fingers. I was like, eee. it was like, as if, I, as if I was an old man. Like, you know, I, I couldn't put my fingers to do that. I was like, what the hell is this, man? And then, uh, after I finally did it, I was like, yes, I did it. And then, you know, you just have to go and you have to take the gun and shoot. And every time I caught myself struggling to figure out where the keys was, the W, the, you know, the forward, left, right, and, and coordinating the looking around with the mouse and jumping and shooting. Man, it was a bloody struggle to do all this. I was, I seriously asked myself, I mean, I could do this so easily when I was young run and jump and shoot and and now I'm literally struggling like I'm running and it's like as if I'm a baby or something you know so I was like I need to improve on this this is bullshit you know I'm not so old bloody rotten that I can't do this so now every day I'm, I'm dedicating like you know one to two hours to practice shooting <laughs> or playing different games just playing different games now why am I doing this because I think it, it exercises a different area of your brain. It is making my hand, uh, hand, mind, eye coordination kind of, it's helping improve that. Because I'm constantly trying and I'm still struggling and it's so stupid, man. Yes? That's my baby screaming. What you want? What you want? Why are you shouting? What she, what she? Yes. See ants, huh? Annie? See ant is there, huh? Okay. So my baby is walking barefoot. Okay, so, uh, you know, and um, obviously I'm getting better, but it's painfully slow. So, it's, it's so stupid, man. I say, I'm struggling to shoot and run and look around. So it's like, I'm so like, oh, you, I'll show you. I go back, restart the game. Again, I go back to the stage. I repeat the stage again. 
just to improve and i'll tell you doom i'm playing doom which is nothing but you take the gun and just run and keep shooting and jumping and running and shooting and jump oh i just hate it it is like i want to shoot the guy keeps moving it's like he's not staying in one place like you stupid fucking ass i'm trying to kill you man don't fucking move and he jumps on the wall and he jumps on a mountain jumps on a tree and i'm like i'm standing and shooting and then he's moved and like ah and then i have to look up and they are shooting me so i have to also move they have to also move and you have to shoot and you have to change your weapons so there's a lot of skills involved i know this might sound stupid and silly but the amount of eye eyes to hand coordination the skills that is required is pretty phenomenal and uh, it kind of makes me appreciate what our youngsters are able to do so easily and the reason i want to improve these skills is because i don't want to be a fucking outdated old man who can't fucking play a video game man come on still want to fucking play and you know like have some moves you know like street fighter or tekken or something like that to so play those games as well so anyway guys uh a little bit of a confession which i just thought of sharing with you uh, <laughs> i don't know if you'll find this silly or do you also play any games please let me know which are the games worth buying i would definitely look into it especially when there's an offer i keep them on a wish list and i'll end up buying them eventually so yeah this was another one of those videos where i wanted to share my thoughts with you let me know your thoughts as well and yeah uh, any new mouse keyboard anything just improve the experience i am competitive <laughs> all right you guys take care see you yeah yeah i know what you're thinking you can get a job in the middle east simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke remember that competition is everywhere some here some there but bam loy macedo is the best 